Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my video covering Korean skincare serums. If you do not like introductions, no worries, I've got your back. There's a timestamp in the description box below to skip to the portion of this video where I just start ranking all of the K-Beauty serums. But if you're new here, really quickly, my goal in this series is to rank all of the skincare products that I tried in the year 2021 into different categories. We have a full playlist of this series, and this week has been the Serums Week. I have gone through basically what I do in my own skincare routine, the three actives that I rotate in my AM and PM skincare routine, with one day left for other, and maybe you guessed it, it is very often Korean skincare serums. Sometimes I also do use these serums for layering. I think they can be really nice over my active ingredient serums. In today's video, I actually used the pricing from the Yes Style and Stylevana website. So please know that the pricing is an estimate. It is hopefully still correct as of today, but it is for, uh, in general, the Yes Style and Stylevana websites. I also do have discount codes with both of those websites. If you're interested, I will have those in the description box below. And of course, a small disclosure of PR, actually not necessarily small for this specific video. You know what, let me actually do this in reverse and tell you the products that I purchased with my own money. It'll make sense in a moment. So I bought the Pyung Kang Yul Moisture Serum. I'm from Vitamin Fruit Serum, the Snail Bee Serum from Benton, and then three of the Beauty of Joseon Serums. Uh, it, it's not that I just got a ton of PR, it's that companies like Stylevana sent me their little mini set of the iUnique Serums. And I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, we are about to rank these serums. I have some quick updates before we get into the video. So I did get some complaints about my hands being too ugly. So uh, we have a glove today. It's funny, I, I don't disagree with anyone who says I have ugly hands because I in fact do. I've known this since middle school. Ugly hand syndrome is very much a thing. But I'll tell you all one simple anti-aging trick, gloves, gloves. Have you ever noticed that Madonna wears gloves all the time? How brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. No wonder she's an icon. You can't hide aging in your hands, but you can wear very fashionable gloves and make no one notice your hands. Brilliant, she's a genius. We are also back to the same board that I used in the moisturizers video. Again, I, I do think this is the best uh, board of them all. We have all of our products down here in the Just Fine category, and what we're gonna do is move the products up into one of three categories or keep them here. Fragrance free and best value, fancy favorite, maybe expensive and or scented, and unique stands out. I also have these kind of roughly grouped together. So to explain my three categories here, these first three serums all contain niacinamide, some of them contain propolis, they're kind of more of the products that will give you a glow. These all contain either snail or uh, ginseng, they're kind of my uh, anti-aging hydrating category, and then these three right here are interestingly enough all greens serums that I think are going to be more for uh, oily skin or people who deal with acne. Glow, anti-aging, oily. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're starting with the I'm From Vitamin Fruit Serum. Oh, I absolutely love this one. It contains 74% sea buckthorn. That's what they're claiming the vitamin fruit is. That is a very very nourishing and healing and restorative ingredient. We also have some niacinamide in this product. It is an absolutely beautiful, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, essential oil-free product. The only potential con is that it is a little bit more expensive. You're also paying for beautiful glass packaging and just, just the general uh, pretty appearance of the I'm From brand. So I think with this one, I am going to put it in my fancy favorite category, but you know, it's so hard to do that in this video in particular because that's the same price point that I've called affordable in uh, videos that are you know more on the Sephora side of things. Okay, so next up, the iUnique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. That one contains 70% uh, propolis, and it also has some of that sea buckthorn oil that the I'm From serum has. Uh, it does contain some niacinamide. Unfortunately, it also does contain some essential oils. iUnique is a brand I got a little bit too comfortable with. 
with because some of their products are essential oil free and fragrance free. So I actually didn't realize for a while that uh, I'm allergic to one of the ingredients in here and it wasn't going that well for me. But I didn't know why until I actually checked the ingredients list. So I'm gonna personally pass this one along and of course I'm just gonna say it's just fine. But know that this is a very well-loved product if you don't share, you know, my specific allergy. Then we have the Beauty of Joseon Glow Serum with propolis and niacinamide. 60% propolis extract and 2% niacinamide in this product. Of course it is fragrance free and essential oil free and alcohol free like everything from Beauty of Joseon at this point. It didn't used to be, but now they've reformulated their brand. <sighs> I think you all know where I'm gonna put this product, right? fragrance free and best value. I love the beauty of Joseon brand. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I do get better results from the vitamin fruit serum, specifically in that healing and glowy aspect, but this is a very budget friendly alternative and I will always say this because it's true, if you stay within your budget and stay consistent, you will have better results than sporadically using products that are outside of your price point. Price point, price range, you all know what I'm saying. Okay, moving into the snail, snail and ginseng section here. Let's start with the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. So I've kind of gone back and forth on where I stand with this product. And I'll, I'll really quickly explain that that's simply because the COSRX Snail Essence is a product that I kind of treat like a serum. And in all truth, when it comes to snail products, that's my favorite serum. It doesn't matter if the name of the product is Essence. You can use it as a serum, and I do. But nonetheless, this is a different formula, and I think it can certainly have a place for some people. So the first ingredient in this product is snail secretion filtrate. The second ingredient is tea tree leaf water, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you know, this could be a great choice for, again, people that have a more oily skin type. We have some green tea, we have some niacinamide in here, uh, and it is less slimy than the COSRX essence. So ultimately, I'm going to say I do think it's a good alternative to the market, and yet it's just taking me so long to get through this. I've had this bottle for uh, about a year at this point. I guess that's a good thing too. It is larger than your one ounce size. So I actually think I'm personally going to leave this in the just fine category. But again, as is the case in every video that I ever put out, you do not have to agree with me. In fact, share your uh, thoughts in the comment section below if that's a holy grail for you. Tell other people that watch this video why. And then the iUnique Black Snail Restore Serum. So this one also is kind of in the same category as Benton. It's a product where we actually get disclosure on the amount of snails. So the snail secretion filtrate here is 70% and then we have Sika at 10%. Niacinamide, no alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oil. This one, in my opinion, is actually a really nice alternative to COSRX if you can't handle the slimy feeling. This one is less slimy. And I do appreciate the disclosure with this product. By the way, this particular one was gifted to me uh, through Stylevana, but I actually did uh, purchase and go through a full size of this. Uh, I, and I might buy it again. Uh, so I'm gonna say it's the fragrance free and best value category for me. The Beauty of Josana Repair Serum, this one is so interesting. So we have 63% ginseng root water in here. Now I have a full video talking about why I love ginseng so much. And we have 3% snail. So it's actually much more of a ginseng serum. You know what's funny about this one? Back when I did my Beauty of Josan video, I said this was uh, not my favorite from the brand. And yet look at how, look at how much is left. This is another one of those instances where I don't think it's the best ginseng or snail product on the market, but because I love those two ingredients so much, I plowed through the product regardless. Is it my absolute favorite? No, but I'm actually gonna put it in the unique stands out category, and here's why. Because it is a unique product. You almost never see snail and ginseng paired together, and ginseng products tend to be very expensive. So it's a nice, again, affordable option to the market. 
I always want to make sure we're thinking about people at all kinds of different price points. And you know, again, I just really respect Beauty of Joseon for offering some of those alternatives. Which brings us to the Dungan Daily Defense Essence, Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence. Wow, that's a nice product. This one is actually kind of expensive. It really is. This is almost the only exception in this entire video that is quite a pricey product, but it is absolutely beautiful. Dong Inbi really takes a lot of pride in their ginseng, so it is aged red ginseng, and that may have an extra benefit if you're looking for an anti-aging product. So it goes without saying, that's going to be in my expensive products category. It is also not alcohol or fragrance free, just to let you know. And yet, talk about results. The Dukenbi brand has been incredible for me in terms of just making my skin look glowy and healthy. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful product if the price tag doesn't deter you. Okay, the I, these are our green products next. The I Do Care Juicy Kitten Purifying Power Green Serum. Uh, so this one has some willow bark extract, it has some algae in it, niacinamide. More than anything else, you're getting niacinamide and some antioxidants in this product. I am going to say, personally, it's not going to be an absolute favorite for me. It's just taking me way too long to want to reach for this, even though I don't mind it. I think it can layer nicely, but I don't think it's a product that I see myself repurchasing. These last two products I kind of want to talk about together. So we have the Beauty of Joseon Calming Serum with Green Tea and Panthenol. I think that this is a beautiful product, but I think you're going to like it more if you do have an oily skin type. Green tea is a wonderful ingredient for regulating oil production, and it's at over 76% in this product, plus 2% Panthenol, which is a great calming ingredient. Love the disclosure from Beauty of Joseon. All that said, you don't see me reaching for it too often because, again, my skin type isn't oily. So it's a product where I respect what it is, I can imagine it has an audience, but it's not my personal favorite. That said, I'm still going to put it in fragrance-free and best value because these two that I've put up here so far, you might like those more if you have a more normal to dry skin type. And then the iUnique Tea Tree Relief Serum, this one I would say is more for any skin type actually, but uh, it's going to help with acne for a lot of people. It has tea tree leaf water, 67% in here. Just make sure you don't have an allergy to that. Of course, the water is less irritating than tea tree essential oil, but it's still possible to have an allergy. And then 19% Sika, nice to have some calming ingredients if you do have acne prone skin, as acne is irritation. So all that with some niacinamide, uh, I, I do, I actually do like this. It's not enough for me on its own. I do need other hydrating ingredients because I've got that strange skin type of acne prone and dry skin, but I really do like this for helping with my acne. By the way, I did finish off this small size, but I refilled it with a larger bottle so I can take it traveling with me because it does help me out a lot. So that's going to be my other fragrance-free and best value. Well, we've actually put a lot into that category, probably because K-Beauty products are so affordable. I'm very happy with this board. It is almost impossible for me to choose uh, specific favorites, but I think I've placed everything where I like it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the second half of this video. And for part two of this video, we are just going to rank some serums that, honestly, these are all unique, so I can't really categorize them together any better. We're just going to individually talk about them and their quirks and what they are and all of that. Okay, so let's start off with the Pyeongkang Yule Moisture Serum. So this is a product that is, if you ask me, so similar to uh, the I'm From Rice toner, except a, a little thicker. Take that, make it a serum, and you have this product. This is in the temperature up line from the brand, which is the dry skin brand. I'm sure you can tell from the texture of this product. What I will tell you is that I like layering this over specifically active serums that don't provide me any kind of uh, hydrating or moisturizing effects. For example, we talked about vitamin C earlier this week. Those L ascorbic acid serums do not feel hydrating or moisturizing in the slightest. They just sink right into my skin. Now I'm going to be honest with you, it may sound incredibly extra to tell you that I follow with a moisture serum. For some people's routines, it is extra. If you don't need it, then you don't need this product. 
You know, that's the thing about skincare. It's all so unique. Everyone has different needs. And as such, with this being such a unique product, of course, I'm going to put it in the unique stands out category. Uh, do note that this has uh, no added fragrance, no essential oils. Very, did I just say oils? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Every so often the Southern does actually come out. Okay. Oils. It does contain olive oil, which works for some people like JLo, but not everyone. But it won't work for everybody. And of course, that's, <laughs> that's just skincare for you. Okay, let's move on to the Logically Skin Aquatide Resurfacing Serum. Uh, this one is interesting. It's a very interesting product. So they say, what do they say on the bottle here? Wrinkle reducing lifting. A serum with Aquatide's special mechanism for anti-aging, which activates the skin to replace aging factors with nutrients. Helps regenerating damaged skin while reducing wrinkles. Oh my god. <laughs> and what they're talking about is this Aquatide ingredient here at 4%. They say it promotes autophagy, uh, which is a, a complicated mechanism that you hear about most in terms of fasting. Hey, what's up? I have a nutrition degree and you fast every night. You don't need to fast in addition to that. Okay. But as for the product, I mean, you know, it's an interesting idea. I promised to use it on my neck and report back if I saw any results. The reality is uh, I didn't, but maybe that's simply because uh, I, I don't have enough wrinkles at my age. It's still an interesting premise. There's some limited data on it, so I think I am going to leave it in the unique category. Maybe people who do have more signs of aging can talk more extensively about this product. But for me, it's, it's just, it didn't do that much. The Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Anti-Wrinkle Serum, adorable packaging, but I'll be honest with you, it is difficult to figure out how to store this. You kind of have to have those shelves that have indents in them so you can stand it up in the shelf, otherwise, <laughs> Glad we're laying out products today, you know what I'm saying? This also has a creamy texture to it. You have some black rice in here, bamboo. Uh, it does have some alcohol. It does have some essential oil ingredients, uh, but it is also, you know, rich in antioxidants. For me, I'm just gonna say it's just fine. It is just fine, but uh, between the storage, the uh, potential for irritation, the just not doing all that much for me, yeah, I'm just gonna call it just fine. But you know, this also, given that creamy nature, it could be another alternative to the moisture serum from Pyung Kang Yul. The Beauty of Joseon Glow Deep Serum with Rice and Arbutin. This contains 68% rice and 2% Arbutin. I wasn't able to find uh, which form of Arbutin, but I, I've seen quite a few of you say it is in fact Alpha Arbutin, which is excellent to see. That's what we see the most published literature on. Let me know if you have a link for that, because I, I just haven't seen it. 0.5% panthenol as well. So what this product specifically is in contrast to the Glow Serum, Glow Serum is made to help your skin glow kind of at the surface. So if you're somebody who deals with acne and inflammation on the surface of your skin, go with the Glow Serum. Glow Deep is meant to penetrate more to past sun damage. So if you have deeper, uh, you know, hyperpigmentation, this would be the product for you. Ooh, those are fantastic ingredients. Those are fantastic ingredients in here. Essential oil free, alcohol free, fragrance free. It is an incredible price point for ingredients that typically, when formulated into a product, you don't usually pay under 17 for that product. So go figure, it's gonna be another fragrance free and best value. The iUnique Rose Galactomyces Synergy Serum. I don't know why I almost got stuck on that word. We have 50% Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate in here. It's an interesting product. It's a product that offers you an alternative to using a Galactomyces Essence, which is typically where you see those fermented ingredients, especially in Korean products. We have 10% rose flower water in here, which means, intriguingly, it doesn't smell like rose, which I do appreciate. But all that said, I'm gonna be honest with you, for me, this one is is just fine. I don't mind it, but I, I do have Galactomyces ingredients in all kinds of essences, and I just personally don't need it in a serum. But again, it could be a unique product for some amount of people. The iUnique Noni Light Oil Serum. So that's a product that is rich in uh, Noni. <laughs> Do you remember when Noni uh, had this real moment in the nutrition world? I think it was probably the early 2000s. Oh. 
Am I showing my age? Well, I'm not showing it through my hand. Yeah, Noni had a real moment because it's a very antioxidant rich option and it is at 42% in here. We also have some oil ingredients and yet it doesn't feel like an oil. It feels like, you know, a small amount of oil in your serum, which makes for quite an interesting texture. We have macadamia oil, jojoba oil, olive oil again, uh, argan, rosehip oil. It's quite an oil blend for such a, a lightweight product. So again, I'm I'm gonna say that's another unique product to me. I say that because I'm somebody who doesn't always want to use oils every single day, but this is a nice daytime option. Now, if you are wearing this under sunscreen, please do make sure that it absorbs into your skin fully before you apply your sunscreen. That's one of the many reasons why I wait about 30 minutes after my skincare routine to actually apply my sunscreen, is because I do use products that contain oils in them. But yeah, otherwise, we're absolutely gonna leave it in Unique Stands Out, and that one too is an essential oil and uh, alcohol-free product. And the final product for this entire video, the 107 Dewy Glow Serum Mist. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know how this brand does it. What an absolutely gorgeous product. You know, there's quite a few companies that have these serum mist type of products. Typically, I feel like they just all feel like mists, maybe with a little bit of oil in them, as we saw in the mists video of the same series. This is not a mist. This is a serum in a mist form. I don't know how they did it. It feels exactly like a serum once you spray it on your skin. What a gorgeous ingredients list. It is alcohol-free, fragrance-free, essential oil-free, contains fermented ingredients, lactobacillus, saccharomyces, so uh, I guess that is similar to uh, the eye unique down here. Uh, we have Arbutin in here. It's a fantastic formula. The only con is that it is a little bit expensive. Why is 107 not at every major Korean retailer yet? They are such an incredible brand. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I think we've done well with our ranking here. I think it is very easy to determine what my top two in this category were. And we have, you know, unsurprisingly, a lot of unique products here, probably because I couldn't place these. I could not figure out how to organize these because they are unique. Well, my friends, that's about it for the Korean beauty serums. I've got uh, one of the two almost birthday boys out here. You're gonna turn two? Are you excited? You excited? December 20th. Carl, I'm gonna get you a, a combined birthday and Christmas present. Are you okay with that? You, you okay with that? I'm so sorry to all of my December birthday babies out there. My brother had a December birthday. He used to always tell me, oh, you April birthday, you're so lucky you actually get two distinct presents. As a December birthday, he said that he would get one present and one apology. You want a blueberry? For a good birthday boy? What is it, Carl? You want a blueberry? That's about all we have for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and we will see you all next time.